In my current state, Zarbon is no match for me. All I need to do now is finish off the rest of Frieza's pathetic goons. Then the Dragon Balls are as good as mine. The Dragon Balls are mine. Fortune's finally smiling upon me. Well now. Useless. <laughs> That's about right. I fail to see why this is a challenge for some. Nothing over there. Yeah. 
worthless. You actually held your own against the mighty Vegeta. We wouldn't have to split up and find the villagers if we just had our scouters. Well, look at that! If it isn't Zarbon! You know, I ran into your friend Dodoria earlier. He's super dead. And soon you will be. What? You... Beat Dodoria? So that's why he never came back. I can't believe this. I hear you've lost all your precious scouters and had to split up to look for Namekian villages. 
which can only mean Frieza's holding on to the Dragon Balls you obtained so far. Damn you. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on all of them. I'll make sure of it. I've already found one myself, and the others are as good as mine. What? As long as I can attain immortality, Frieza is as good as dead. You fool. Immortality won't be enough to best Lord Frieza. <laughs> The battles I fought have afforded me some of the greatest power! You still don't get it, do you? Lord Freeze's power is beyond anything you could ever imagine. You got a gun! Yet he still feared the power of the sage. You're about to get just a taste of that very power! You little... Out of my face! You couldn't lay a finger on me! <laughs> You've improved. I'll give you that much at least. But you don't seem to realize the mistake you've just made. You have awakened my true power. You've got quite a sense of humor. Go on, show me your power! You are going to regret this, Vegeta. Prepare to be amazed by my glorious transformation! Pretty foolish. You went to all that trouble to grow stronger, and for what? Nothing. And here's something else you probably didn't know. Lord Frieza also hides his true power behind transformations. But... <clears throat> oh, he passed out. I'm afraid I can't let you die just yet. I still have a lot to ask you. I can't believe I'm actually providing aid to a traitor like you. Once you're fully conscious, you're going to tell me where you've hidden the Dragon Ball. There it is! That's Guru's house! That's it? Hey, Nail! You're okay! I'm glad to see you're safe, Dende. Grand Elder Guru is aware of your situation. You two may enter. Grand Elder Guru will see you now. Uh, he's huge! Welcome, young Earthling. I understand I have you to thank for saving my little Dende here. My gratitude. Uh, well, I really didn't do much. It pains me that most of my children on this planet have fallen victim to such vile invaders. I had no idea the Dragon Balls, the very symbols of Namekian wisdom and power, could cause such strife. 
Forgive me for cutting straight to the chase, but do you think I could borrow the one that you got right there? Look, I won't let the bad guys get their hands on it. I promise. I'd like him to have it as well. If the Earthlings get the Dragon Balls, they can wish for theirs to return to Earth. What? What? There are Dragon Balls on Earth as well. Is or was there a Namekian there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about one coming to Earth in order to flee some sort of crisis here on Namek. It must have been Kata's child. Truthfully, I'm surprised the child was able to survive the journey. If memory serves me, he was a gifted member of the Dragon Clan, the creators of the Dragon Balls. But how is it he met his end? Did he die of natural causes, or was he killed? He was killed by someone here on Namek, a Saiyan named Vegeta. Young Earthling, please step forward. I would like to look into your past. Huh? My past? My, my goodness. He split himself in two to combat the evil in his own heart? How oh, foolish. To reduce such extraordinary potential is such a waste. If he had remained as one, he might not have met with such a horrible fate. Remained as one? Wait, does that mean if Kami and Piccolo rejoin, Piccolo will get his power back? Very well. I can see that your intentions are pure, and that you have exhibited great bravery thus far. I will entrust this Dragon Ball to you. However, you might not be able to make your wish. Uh, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I am not long for this world. I have perhaps only a few days left. Do you think you can reclaim the remaining Dragon Balls from those horrible fiends? As strong as you are, I fear that might prove impossible. Once I am gone, the Dragon Balls will cease to exist. Uh, I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I'll keep the Dragon Ball, and I'll guard it with my life. I appreciate it. I must say... You seem to possess a great deal of strength for an Earthling, but much of it lies dormant and unrealized. How unfortunate. Allow me to release the power resting deep inside you. W what are you talking about? There's no way I'm hiding any more power. I mean, I'm already pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> Where did all this power come from? Yeah! I've never felt this kind of power before! This is incredible! Wait. Uh, would it be okay if I brought a friend of mine here to see you? I bet he's got more untapped power than me hidden inside of him. Yes, please bring him here. We could use another ally in the fight for justice. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with him. Now, wait here, Dende. I'm gonna go get Gohan, okay? Uh, all right, be careful. According to the radar, the Dragon Ball over there is on the move! It's heading straight for us! Do you... do you think it's Krillin on his way back? I bet it is! But... um... what about this one? These five here are probably the ones that Frieza guy has. And hey, here's this one all by its lonesome. Wait, that's the village we heard Vegeta was attacking! Right? But Vegeta isn't there. I don't sense his energy anywhere near it. Oh, I think I get it. 
He attacked the village, but he didn't find the Dragon Ball. Let me borrow the radar, Bulma. I'm going to go find that Dragon Ball. Okay, here we go. Hey! Actually... Thank you so much! Perfect. Now's my chance! I'm not sensing any scary energy in the area. That's good. Counting on you, Junior. Yeah! <laughs> 
Pathetic! What? I don't think so! Uh, let's see. Huh? Huh? Uh. A lot of power in this. I, I think I can handle this. Yeah. 
can handle this. Um, here I go. What? Uh, right. Hmm. Be right around here. Oh, this is awful. The village is in ruins. Got to find that Dragon Ball.
But what was it doing in a place like that? Maybe the villagers were in a rush to hide it. What? What was that explosion just now? Oh, it can't be. He's not in the recuperation tank. <sighs> Damn that Vegeta! Where could he be? Find him, Zabon! Find him now! Aha! The Dragon Balls! It looks like five of them are here! And I can't leave this place without all five of them! It looks like time isn't on my side either! Great! I'm going to have to buy myself some time here! Ha! There we go. Now it's my turn. No, oh, that filthy Saiyan monkey. Vegeta appears to be after the Dragon Balls. No, oh, the Dragon Balls. Damn that Vegeta! This is inexcusable! You will scour this entire planet and find that traitor! If after one hour's time you do not return to me with Vegeta, know that your death will be a slow and painful one! Oh, yes, sir. It pains me to say, but it appears Saiyans are capable of more than I initially thought. They seem to grow stronger with each battle they manage to survive. They can't hope to reach my superior level, of course. Still, it might prove prudent to finally rid myself of them once and for all. It would be quite bothersome if I had to deal with a Super Saiyan. It seems it may be time to call the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Here they are. Yes, yes, I'm untouchable! This is what you get, Frieza! Your Dragon Balls are finally mine! Now that I have these and the one that I hid underwater, that leaves just one to collect, then I'll have all seven! <gasps> this huge power... is that Zarbon? This was great! I had no idea I had this kind of power! I bet I can make it back to Gohan in no time at all! Oh man, I bet Gohan's gonna get way stronger than me when he meets Guru! The little runt from Earth? Why is he on Namek? Ha! <laughs> and he's holding the very last Dragon Ball as well! <laughs> Seems fortune is smiling quite favorably on yours truly today. Oh, damn that Vegeta. Where did he go? If I don't find him soon, Lord Frieza will have my head. Wait, that... Oh, I've finally found you, Vegeta! <gasps> Huge power level is on its way here. I guess Zarbon found me. Good. Once I get that Dragon Ball off the pite sized Earthling, I'll finish him off once and for all. Zarbon's probably quite full of himself after the last encounter, which means his guard should be down. 
One thing at a time, though. First, I have to get my hands on that Dragon Ball. against the mighty Vegeta. <laughs> Zarbon is as good as dead! Oh, Krillin! Bulma, I told you to hide! It's not safe for you! Is that a Dragon Ball? Wow, those things are huge here! Yeah, I got it from Guru. He's a remarkable person! Oh yeah, that's right. Where's Gohan? I want to take him to see Guru to increase his power level. He left to go look for the other Dragon Ball. The radar showed one in the village Vegeta attacked before. What? Really? What the... This power? No way! Vegeta! You're a long way from home, Earthling. Oh, no. I was so focused on my increase in power that I didn't notice him. He's not wearing a scouter. And that means... He must have learned how to sense power levels without one. That's a nice Dragon Ball you've got yourself there. It would appear that you and I are after the same thing. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I have some business to take care of before I take it. But I'd think twice before doing something stupid like running away if I were you. Huh? There you are. Well, well. You've got some nerve, Vegeta. Thanks to your foolish actions, Lord Frieza has lost faith in me. If you don't give me the location of the Dragon Balls this instant, I'll just have to beat it out of you. You're welcome to try. <laughs> you never learn, do you? He's let his guard down. There's nowhere to run, Vegeta! Oh! <laughs> 
Remember when I clung to life by a thread? I bet you regret healing me now, don't you? Something to keep in mind. We Saiyans grow stronger every time we're brought to the brink of death. Uh, oh yeah. That's right. Goku keeps getting stronger after each one of his fights. So, Baldy, what's it going to be? You forking over that ball or am I taking it? Okay, if I give this to you, uh, do you promise just to take it and leave? <laughs> Fine, why not? There's no point in wasting my time with small fries like you once I have the Dragon Ball. Finally, I will be the one to rule over the universe, not that foolish Frieza! Immortality will be mine! <laughs> we can't just let him have all seven Dragon Balls. Come on, Gohan, we're counting on you. Whatever you do, don't let Vegeta find you. I hope Krillin and Bulma are okay. Better hurry. No one sees me, though. I'd better pick up my speed. Huh. This one has four stars. I got it! the way someone's coming Vegeta I have to hurry up and hide where to hide where to hide Where did this power come from all of a sudden? It's gone. Who's there? If you don't show yourself right now, I'll reduce this place to ashes! W wait! It's only me! Well, if it isn't Kakarot's little brat. That's a Dragon Ball! Wait, where did you get that? It was a gift from that follically challenged friend of yours. Krillin? You killed him, didn't you? No, he's alive. But I'd be more than willing to fix that if you'd like. Huh? And I think I'll let you live. Luckily for you, I'm feeling generous now that I've got all the Dragon Balls. All of them? Oh. Curious, uh, what's that you've got in your hand there? Oh, uh, this? It's a watch! <laughs> With such primitive technology, I'm surprised you Earthlings managed to make it to a remote planet like this. If you're here, then that must mean Kakarot's here too. No, he isn't. Oh, I see. That's too bad. When you get back to Earth, tell Kakarot something for me. The next time we meet, 
I'm going to turn him and his precious planet into space dust. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Go, Gohan! We knew you could do it! Great job, Gohan! We'd better get out of here, and quickly. Vegeta now knows where to find us. Yeah, I know. I ran into him not too long ago. What? Fortunately, I was able to hide this ball well enough that he didn't find it. Oh, man. You're one lucky kid, you know that? That's enough. Let's get out of here. It's not here! Impossible! It's a straight shot from where that brat was to here and where the Earthling was before! But how? How did he find it? <sighs> that device he was holding... J that wasn't a watch! Damn that little maggot! He took what is rightfully mine and will pay with his life! No! They're gone! Those damn Earthlings, they have no idea who they're messing with. It's only a matter of time before they come after the six Dragon Balls I have at my disposal. And when they do, I'll make them regret ever having crossed me! Krillin and the others were able to secure one of the Dragon Balls from Guru, but it was quickly stolen by Vegeta. But thanks to Gohan's quick thinking, they were able to prevent Vegeta from getting his hands on all seven of them. In order to avoid Vegeta's wrath, the trio had to find a new place to hide. Krillin then made his way back to Guru with Gohan in tow. Freezes ace up his sleeve, the Ginyu Force.